My name is Lance Green, Wave of the Future 3D. Basically, I'm a big nerd, and I always thought 3D printers were cool, so one day I just decided to buy one and started using it and got obsessed with it, and now we've run, we run about 50 of them at our shop. I love making stuff. So when I first got my 3D printer, I was big into RC cars. So I started off designing lots of RC car parts and testing and prototyping and redesigning and just continuing on that cycle over and over. And I learned a lot from doing that. And it was basically enough after a few years that I was able to start doing it professionally. I love making my own stuff. That's really my main thing, and really making anything in general. We have a lot of clients who come in. We do a lot of engineering work. Uh, we do artistic work as well. And anytime someone comes in with something that they want, I just love making stuff, so I'm not very picky about what the job is. And I get to spend all day making whatever I enjoy. I, uh, this is my second time here. We came in 2017, and uh, we're back again. I like seeing all the things that other people are making because we focus on 3D printing so I have a lot of experience with that. There's people here doing wood carving, glass blowing, all kinds of other things, robotics, stuff like that and uh, that's really great to see. Um, we've done some work like that as well and it's just nice to see that carrying over to the education side of things. A lot of schools are doing robotics now and I remember way back when I was in high school we were just starting the robotics program there as well and we were working on, we were in Skills Canada, all that stuff, so finally more students are having access to it. I absolutely do because 3D printing and product design, that's my art form and before that I always had ideas about things I'd like to make, I did machining and stuff like that, so I had experience manufacturing but it wasn't really anything personal that was for me but now with 3D printing it makes it so accessible to make anything that you want that you now have all that ability to express personal things that you enjoy. Uh, it is definitely both. It started off as a hobby and then eventually became professional but in my free time I still do tons of personal work um, I post all of my designs online for free for anyone to download and I just love a lot of art out there and I love to make my own versions of it. Absolutely. The big thing is a lot of people try to do this 3D printing specifically and I can say it's very... There's a certain market you need to get into, and but those markets, they don't really exist. You have to create those markets for this industry, and that's the hardest thing people have getting into uh, 3D printing professionally, is creating that market, because it's so new that those markets aren't really there, and you have to really get it out there. Uh, well, for our professional services, we bill out based on print time. So it's $10 per hour of print time and we try to optimize the prints or we optimize our production for the part specifically. So if we're doing large engineering jobs, say structural stuff, things that need to support a load, then we'll use one of our high flow systems. We'll make sure it's a strong part and usually increasing strength increases print time, but we have special high flow systems that can push a lot of plastic very fast and therefore those jobs that might take 40 hours at $10 an hour, that'd be 400 bucks, our high flow system could do it in 20 hours, shaving off half the production time as well as half the cost.